Okay. We can see you recording there. Yeah, I'm recording it from my end as well. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, that's you. Yes, that's you, Patrol Brown. Oh, yeah. Mr. Morrissey. Ah, uh, but I can see. I think I have four persons. Oh, okay, okay. Then I'll I'll let the this. I mean, do it other way around, right? Let's just go long way. Okay, I have admitted two more people. So as and when. I'll okay. Be admitting them. For now, oh, okay. we start. Okay. Then. Yeah. All right. Okay, so can somebody remember maybe the last thing we discussed for which maybe we can continue from there? Oh. I'm sharing my screen, so I hope you can all see it. Yes, sir. All right. How many people with DC motors? I think the last time that the last time that we 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 had we had our lessons, we we were trying to we try to stop for something. <laughs> and this was some there are some questions that I said we should try and answer. So we go to this, issues, isn't it? That's yes, sir. Answer some questions. Um, there's this problem. Yeah. I solved it in. The yeah, we are doing it. We are. So I've put this in the password. Then yeah. you can it. Everything I'm trying to do, I want to do. Okay, go. Thank you. All right. Okay, so um, we have we done something on back counter EMF. What is that? What is that? We haven't. Because if you are saying we have solved some problem with DC motors, then you simply we have gotten to the point where we are virtually ending that session. I have a problem um, that is example 5.2. I will add that example. 5.2, can you see that? Yeah, I can see. Uh, 30 kilowatts, 300 volts, DC uh, generator. No, sir. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, uh, 5.2. Yeah, example 5.2, yeah. Steven. Yeah. Steven. Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, Charlie, you see, mm, this in the way looking at looking at things you now. Why yeah. don't you have some small recap before you start all this thing? Huh? But Charlie, it's a long time. It's a long time, Charlie. Yeah. Yes. Down into the lecture. Yes. Yes. And yes. so you meet with, with, with Mr. Morrison so that I can at least recap some certain things before we get to the calculations. Also. 
we should be able to uh, let me know that, okay, maybe we have discussed. You don't understand this, so I should give you some uh, clarification. That uh, if we are working by the new schedule they have rolled out, then we don't have so much time so that we can go back or go all over again. So if there's something we can look at it that way. You understand? I just want to be sure of where we left off and then I can continue from that point. Uh, sir, okay. it's not, it's not, uh, this part. It's not this calculation. Okay. Meaning we haven't reached where this calculation is? No, sir. We haven't reached it. Have we talked about types of DC modules? Well, we have self-excited based motors so that so we can talk about I think, I think we try this uh, question, the question two. This is the place where we end it. That is the calculation that is the calculation that we did in our last meeting. Join the last meeting. Question to try. That is that's okay. Um, question two. Okay, uh, remember we are in class, so that's uh, one at a time. Okay. So, question two, and a question to try. Is that what you are saying? Yes, sir. Okay. So, if that is where we have left off, then it simply means that. Um, we we'll have to start or continue with a citation. Citation, yes, sir. Yes. So we'll continue with the citation. Okay. All right. I said, please, I, with all due respect, I wanted to, I want to find out whether you have started the recording. Yeah, I, I have, I have started the recording. Okay. Thanks, sir. Okay. Okay, so I think we can continue, isn't it? Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so um, a citation, as we already know, borders on uh, an initial process of something okay? so to cause an action to initiate mm -hmm. that can be seen as uh, a citation based on the English concept but with our electrical machine in simple terms we want to help the machine to start be generator or motor okay? so what do we do for it to start? One of the first most thing that you do is to create or set up magnetic flux. Okay. So as you have in the material, uh, we indicated that in general it is uh, an initial process or to initiate some action. Okay. So that the first or initial action in any electrical machine is to establish the magnetic field, okay, or the flux. So based on that, we can define a citation in that regard, all right? Which is nothing but what, when you supply the field winding, okay, with direct current, then you can create magnetic flux. Okay, so you have the winding which are conductors, but that's winding. What you are doing to it is that you are supplying it with DC. So once the DC 
do that for you. It will set up magnetic field. So that is the concept of a citation. So we can define it as a process of providing the full windings with the direct effects, like you have in the material. The purpose is to produce magnetic field. So you know the reason why you are doing a citation. Okay. All right. So we also indicated that since the magnetic field is produced at the rotationary part of the machine, okay, the magnetic field produced is stationary. Mm -hmm. We we uh, what do we call it? Sorry, the construction of a DC machine. Like if you look at previously, you will realize that. Um, we have the stator aspects and then the armature aspects for this. So we can see the other rotate is the armature session. I hope you can remember that. Yes, sir. All right. So those things that I've shown you from uh, uh, typical uh, motor, okay, I pass that device round for everybody to look at it. We realize that we have the amateur winding and then the stator winding. Okay. So that the magnetic field is actually set up in the stator winding. That winding doesn't rotate. Okay. So that's why we are saying that um, your magnetic field is established in the stationary part, okay? Not the part that routine, but the part stationary. Mm. Right. So, because of that, the magnetic field, which is also produced, will be stationary, okay? As far as this machine is concerned, because the field is created in the stationary part, so it will be stationary. So, we say that depending upon the source of the exciting currents, also known as what fuel currents, right? We can group the machine into separate and then self excited DC machines. Okay, um, are you saying that we haven't discussed this topic? I mean, uh... <laughs> Uh, you say we haven't we have discussed it so, to the extent that we have not talked about types uh, of DC machines in terms of thing one is shunt, series, and then compound. We haven't talked about those things. No, sir. Haven't. Okay. All right. So let's continue. Yeah. So based on that, we have separate and then self excited. Okay. Um, if it is separate, because of that, let me just make it simple. If it is separate, it simply means that the source of exciting current, okay, we can talk about exciting current. So that the exciting current is the current that is supplied to the field to produce the magnetic flux or to set up the magnetic field. Now, this current is coming from a source that is basically DC source, so let me put it that way, DC source. So, um, uh, what do we call it? A typical example of DC source is what? Yeah? A typical example of DC source is what? Oh, I hope you can hear me or you cannot hear me. I said we can hear you, sir. Uh, so please answer my question. I said, please say, come again. Sir. I'm asking of example of DC source. So that we can get DC power, if you like. That is direct carriage. Uh, battery. Battery is one of them. Okay. 
And another one is what? Generator. Generator. This is generator. So you have to be specific. This this is generator. Okay. This is generator. Yeah. yeah. So in this case, a separate excited system is the one that source, which is the DC source. Okay. Is not part of the if it is generator, it is not part of the generator, but it is separate to it. It is external to make sure that it is just supplying direct current so that that generator can work as a generator. If it is also a motor, then the source to produce the magnetic field is also separate external to the motor so that you will have to connect that source to whole motor setup to be able to work okay all right and um <clears throat> like we indicated earlier it is very important for us to understand that i think i've spoken about this in the class Okay. Uh, those I've just admitted, which everybody just um, just pay attention. Okay. Right. So I said earlier on that uh, in electric generation, we're going to do so based on part this law of electromagnetic induction. And when we started, we talked about some three requirements to meet that law. Hope you can remember. One of them is what? Uh, it's a uh, magnetic field. Again. To have a magnetic field. Okay, so you will need the magnetic field. But what again you also need is any other for the remaining. Hello. Uh, please, we are in class, so you have to let counterparts know that you are in class because I'm the process. Today is our first time of starting, so I just want us to. Which of the words didn't you get? Because the words are not. And if he is now saying it's not on the platform, how come it's not on the platform? Because I remember. All right. Um, was that Betsy that was placing the call or receiving the call? Yeah, it's not, it's not easy. Okay, so I just got it. I just got it. To the class, uh, we are in class and uh, not entertain full calls, please. Okay. Yeah, so um, the other two requirements is what? the other two requirements. One is you need magnetic flux. You have to set up the flux with magnetic field. And then the other one is what? Oh. Let's 
talk? The amateur current. Amateur current. Uh, we are just basically looking at the requirement of a risk law of electromagnetic induction. The requirement. Basically, three. A conductor winding. So you need a conductor coil. That's okay. You also need a flux. And then also the last one is what? Um Uh, officer, well, yeah. Captain, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Seth. Seth, uh -huh. yeah, Sorry? Uh -huh. What is the last answer? The last. You will need flash, you will need system of conducting or conductor and then the last one is what to achieve a result of the magnetic induction so many you have not been reading through the material hmm? just down it somewhere and you are waiting for the next thing to happen. And the next thing that is happening is we are doing online class. <laughs> so you can't dump the material somewhere. You must read through. Because by now I expect that you are you are done with those stuff and then maybe just some questions. Yeah, yeah please. You know, relative motion between the above two. That again. Relative motion between the above two. Yeah, so that, that is it. Uh, but I don't like it if the answer is basically coming from one direction. That's why I said I was expecting this answer from you. And then uh, uh, is Bright here. Bright, are you here? Bright is not here, isn't it? Uh, uh, right, you are wrong. Okay. So let's let's all try to make contribution to that to help us. We need it. Okay. So it is very important for us to so know that um, if we're going to generate power, do you need for as AC, AC power, okay, generating current. You need DC. What do you need a DC for? You need a DC to do a citation. Okay. And this DC for typical uh, thermal power plants, hydropower plants, wind pool, steel. This DC, their uh, source is coming from battery. Uh, lead acid batteries okay, that we have in most power uh, stations. So, what do we do with this kind of uh, batteries? We connect them in series for the purpose of doing what? Sex. For the purpose of doing what? If you have to connect batteries in series, what is the reason why you are doing that? Let's go again. I'm having a network channel. I'm having a network channel. Why do you need this battery? Okay. Uh, to Generate AC, okay, so that's my question.
You know, get my person. Okay. Uh, please, I don't believe that you are asking. It seems that your line was breaking down, so I couldn't uh, get it. Well. If you want to generate AC and you need DC power, what do you need a DC power for? You understand? That's the question. Because I said earlier that when you want to generate AC, either from hydro power station or from steam turbine power station, okay. you will still need DC. The output of your power is actually going to be AC, but you need DC power. What do we use it for? You understand? That was the question. Okay. Um, yeah. As a, please, if I can hear you right, you said um, after generating and getting an AC, what do we need a, a DC back? But you need a DC to be able to generate the AC. Yes, sir. And what, what role is the uh, DC in the AC generation? You understand? That is the question. What is the role of the DC in AC generation? Is that the, the DC is for excitation. So that is it. Okay, so that's what we've been talking about. So now it simply means that so this is coming from battery and you have to connect that source into your AC generator setup. And I think the I time I try to explain the same concepts in the class when we met so that you must set up what we call a rotor proof. Okay, which basically you will have to create the magnetic field on the rotor pulse. So the rotor because it rotates for the AC system. Every time the rotor is rotating, then your the rotor. Are you angry, my person, or you are taking some other business? Oh, sir, sir, please, it's like your line is not order. The line is not order clear. Uh, the other we can hear ourselves very clearly. Come again. I said, your line is not clear. I mean, when we are talking, we hear ourselves louder more than yours. I see. Um, okay. But, 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 but my microphone here is working. Try this again. Do you get um, a feed? Oh, it's like a feedback from me when I speak here. Yeah. Yeah, some of us get feedback. Um, 
Cruz, and you open the this one. and then this one also good. Okay. Hello. Yeah, yes, sir. Hi. Okay. I guess you can hear me a bit clearer. Yeah, it's okay now, sir. All right. Okay, that's fine. So, um, if you will need the battery to supply DC power to the rotor poles. So I was asking, okay, um, the rotor actually rotates, which if you take hydropower, then it simply means something is the prime mover, which is what? What becomes the prime mover in a hydropower plant? I can remember myself talking about this. The class. The prime mover concept, all this. I talk about, I remember. So for a hydro power, what's the time? I don't want to. And for hydro power, the prime mover becomes the water. Okay? So that the water is going to use it uh, or convert its potential energy into kinetic energy. And this energy will drive a turbine. Okay, so the turbine now is connected to shafts, which we call the rotor shafts or the generator shafts. So once the turbine turns, the generator, uh, 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 the rotor also turns. So if you mount the poles on the rotor and you are supplying it with direct current, anytime the rotor is rotating, it simply means the magnetic field you have created on the rotor poles will also be rotating. So you automatically have a rotating magnetic field which would affect the third condition by saying that you need to have a relative motion between the system of conductor coils and then flux setup. Okay, so basically that is what is happening. So if you have a battery which is separate to the whole system and the battery has to supply it, energy to get magnetic flux produced, then we call that kind of system separately a sighted system. This is talking about DC machine, so it becomes separate sighted DC machine. So that's it. And then if you also talk about self sighted this is basically a system where, for instance, I want to take a generator. Okay, the laser generates electrical power at the output, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, so if uh, we are generating electrical power at the output, and with a particular example, AC power, I told you by principle, even if you label it or you indicate that this is a DC generator. By principle, what it will be generating is going to be DC. The only time it becomes DC is when you do what? Yes, um, John, do we have John here? No, sir. Don't have John. Um, you using techno. Techno, come on, come on, uh -huh. 
Richard. Yeah, sir. Sorry, I'm with you, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah, so do answer my question if you are with me. Uh -huh. What is what is the answer? I couldn't hear you all. But you said you are with me. <laughs> uh, you mentioned that uh, that they come on 12 and I said I'm with you, sir. <laughs> Uh, so who has answered to that person? One of you has left. You were eight, but one somebody left. Uh, oh. I think. Uh, I think better, better. Okay. All right, no problem. Let's let's move forward. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so so what's the answer to the question? By principle, whatever you generate, even it is uh, this generator that you are talking about. That by principle, whatever you generate is AC. So why do you make confidently say that I am generating DC? Okay. We're using a uh, uh, commutative segment and the brushes to convert uh, uh, AC to DC there. Okay, so because of the commutation process, yes, sir. I'm able to change your AC to DC. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So um, do not forget any generator that works on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction will automatically generate electrical power in AC form. Okay. If you want to label it as DC generator, it means you must put in another arrangement to convert that AC to DC. I hope you understand that. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm. All right. So, with that in mind, if using that generator to generate energy, okay, and then, we can take an output. Now we have put in the element of commutator and all those things. So they are all there. Now, if we can take of it and then feed it to the fuel system, then that concept will be able to establish what we call self excited generator. The reason being, the output of the generator, you have taken part of the output, okay? So you have taken part of the output, and you are now feeding that to the fuel or the fuel winding, yes, so to say, okay? So basically, that is what is going to happen when you look at, or when you take self excited system. Okay. Now, it would, it would uh, take time for me to draw. I wanted to just sketch to give you an illustration, but the whole concept is that if you take a generator, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. 
Espresso, espresso, va in tavola. E si prega un bene, bello, va in tavola. E mi si può, e non so. Va in tavola, e si va in tavola. E si prega un tavola. E in tavola, in tavola. No, 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 Yes, sir. Can you continue this class? Yes, sir. <laughs> there are a lot of courses. Maybe it is like that. Uh, sir, two of us are trying to work. Someone was trying to, uh, one of our colleagues trying to turn us right there. Uh, I am very proud to do that. Hey. And I'm in the direction. Hey, Asak Jeep. Engineer Asak. Engineer Asak. Who is making that noise? Who is making that noise? Can we continue? Yes, sir. Lord. Right. Yeah, so basically, when you take out, okay, of um, your system to a site, the field widening, all you are doing is Outside the system, okay, it's as simple as that. All right, so I don't want to waste so much time. I was like, I was saying, I was going to draw maybe um, uh, to just give an illustration, but you have a generator, it is a DC generator, you can get DC output of it. That is possible because we have put in commutator and then. Uh, with the help of brushes, arrangements, and all those things. So you can get this yeah. at the output of this generator. So you call it this generator. Now, you take half of the output, okay, half of the output, and then reach to the field line. Because that is easy. So you end up using magnetic field in the field winding, which you will use to assign this. So this kind of generator, or DC machine becomes what we call self-excited DC machine. Uh, we are good with that. So we can continue, isn't it? Yes, sir. All right. Now, so um, like we have here, Section 5.1.9. Um, in this type of machine, the fuel current for the excitation is supplied by the voltage available at the output of the machine itself. Hence, sir, the reason why we get it is sir. Okay. The assignment is going. Okay, okay. Azofu, 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 you are disturbing the class, please. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please. One ground rule. If somebody is placing a call or uh, 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 getting a date with somebody for whatever reason, let the person know in the next few seconds that you are in class, so you will get back to the person later after the class. So that we can make a progress, please. All right. So, like I said earlier, uh, depending on how the fuel happens. Okay, are connected with the amateur circuits. We have the following types of self-excited DC machines. 
how the film winding is connected with the amnesia circuit. So you must take your mind back to which part of the machine is amateur, which part is the field field winding. How the field winding is connected with the amateur circuit. We have basically three types of these machines. Series, shunt, and then compound excited DC machine, or shunt series excited DC machines. Remember, we said that when we talk about DC machines, we are basically talking about, if you like, two main devices. Right, set. One is what? This is machines. An example of this machine is what? Example of this machine. Yes. The generators. Come again. Generator. Generator, yes. And then another one is what? Moto. Okay. All right. So basically, that is all we are talking about. All right. Uh, those who just joined, I've admitted one more person. Just pay attention. If you can see, just pay attention. I think that's Jackson. Jackson. Okay, so just pay attention. Okay. Okay, sir. If you have questions, you can ask. Okay, sir. Uh, right. My video is working, so. Now, let's continue. So, okay. we have these three things that we are looking at. Chance, series, and then compound. So, in simple terms, we have chance, series, Generator, compound generator, based on the excitation. So we can see shunt excited generator, right? So also, shunt motor, shunt, sorry, a uh, series motor, and then compound motor. Okay, so basically, that's what it is that we are looking at. Right. So let's look at the generators. Okay, let's look at the generators quickly. Mm -hmm. Look at that quickly, 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 quickly. Yes. Never understood. Yes. So, um, section five point two point one. Okay, self excited. Yes. So, shunt generator, and uh, making reference to figure five point four. I hope you can see that. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, so we can see the back. Oh, yes. Jesus. yes, you've seen it. If, um, we that diagram, some form as that it is a generator, and one of the key things is, um, apart from being a generator, it is a shunt generator. So, what should make you identify that is how the amateur circuit is connected with the field winding, or how the field winding is connected across the amateur circuit. So, as you can see in the figure, um, please, can you see my 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this yes, sir. is our load. Load. We take it as a generator, which it is. And this is our amateur circuit. And then this is our field winding. Okay. Now, you realize that across the amateur circuit is the field winding. That is to say, field winding is connected across the amateur circuit. Right? So, in effect, the field winding is chanting anything that chants is connected in power. Okay? Across the field. It's chanting the circuit here so that it is a generator and it's going to electromotive force right away from the amateur circuit which will be coming out of the amateur circuit and it will flow through the circuit to a load but as it flows what will be the flow of current in that circuit so this is our load current ie will flow I the amateur circuit okay field running is connected in power with the amateur circuit. The amateur current will divide one will go to the field circuit, the field winding, and then one will also go to the load. I hope you can see that. Yes. So that amateur current, IA, is the sum of what? The shunt current and then the load current. So that is it. Because the field value is connected across the armature, which is parallel across it. Now, you also realize that because the circuit current must go through the load and then come back to the armature circuit. So it's a circuit. So current flows like that. Remember your. Uh, network. Okay. Current law, uh, voltage law, and all those things. The, your network theories. Current flows in this so that this IL will flow through the load, which is the load current, and then come back to the amateur setting. So it keeps rotating. The same way, the current that flows through the field winding also comes back to this to add up and eventually we also or we get back our IE. Okay, so that's why we have this expression here. I've not labeled the equation here, but I'm current. I is equal to ISH plus IL. Right. SH is the chance current. Okay. This, this is chanting the amateur circuit. It's connected across the power. That's why we are saying it is the current of it is a shunt current, which is a power current across the armature. Now, ISH is a resistor. Shunt resistor. Okay, or an armature resistance. Because the armature, sorry, sorry, the field resistance, the field windings is made of conductor. Every conductor carries a certain amount of what? resistance. So you will have resistance of this conductor, which is the amateur, sorry, the field, okay, if the field conductor, which we have one to form the field one, it will have some resistance. So you have RSH, all right? Okay. Now, EG is the generator. Which is the EMF generated in the amateur? Okay. And then also because the amateur has windings, you also have some resistance, RE. So RE is amateur resistance. So you see that in the figure. Okay. So um, I talk about IL. IL is the load carrier, the carrier of flow through the load. Okay. So that is what is happening. Now, we also have some idea of the fact that 
in parts of what is the state of voltage in a power circuit? It's common. It's common, all right? So the voltage across the road common to voltage across the the what? The shunt resistor. The shunt resistor. Okay. Which is basically the field wind. The resistor that is formed in the field wind. Okay, so that's what it will be the same. So because of that, if you want to determine the current that is flowing, this is the current. Once you know the resistance of the conductor, then you just divide it by that, uh, divide the voltage by that resistance. And then you get so that's what we have here. This first expression I SH is equal to V divided by R SH. Okay, so then also the terminal voltage. This terminal voltage is the voltage across the load. This voltage is as a result of the drop that you produce in the amateur circuit. When you take a that drop from the generated in the amateur, what you will learn is the voltage developed across the loop, if you like. Okay, which is what we have here. Terminal voltage on V minus CG. I so this is a voltage drop. Okay, in the this voltage drop is drop point. The amateur. I E R E in the amateur. Okay, very good. So that's what is happening. Then also you can talk about power. Power is nothing but what voltage time. In this case, we are looking at this system, but basically that's what is happening. So for the power generated or power developed in amateur, just generated uh, voltage in the amateur or the EMF developed in the amateur times the current that is also available that will give you the power which is developed in the amateur so also we can talk about power developed uh, sorry delivered to the load power is delivered to the load basically you just multiply the current which is this expression that we have so basically that is what is happening okay when you take shunt generator all right, figure 5.4. Also, when you take series generator, you have this figure. Okay, so at least you should be able to tell a difference between this figure and what? This figure, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. What's the difference? Uh, please, I have a question. Okay. Uh, please, what's the significance uh, of the power generated in the Amateur winding. Like, what is it? What does it mean? So, the power generated in the amateur. Yes, sir. If you like, is the total power. It's the, the total power. The total power. Oh, okay. In the Including device. The, including okay. the load. Come again. Including the load. Yes. Including power that gets to the load. All right. So come back to um, this expression. In fact, I didn't label these species. I'll just put them here for you. So come back to terminal voltage. Terminal voltage. I hope you are there. Yes, I'm there. Now, yes, here, let's make EG. The subject. So if you make it the subject is equal to what? It's V plus I E I R. So that is it. So this I E I E I E R E. The voltage drop. Okay. Drop. This is also a voltage. This yeah. that we said earlier on, it is the terminal voltage, if you like. Voltage which is going to be available across. The load. So this voltage plus the drop give you the, the, the gives you the total power. Yeah. Okay, developed in the amateur. 
You understand? Huh? Okay. But you will never be able to have that power to be able to the root because there will be what? Loss. All right? Okay. So that is what is happening. Um, okay, good. Yeah, so what is the difference with the 5.5 figure? In fact, it is, it is obvious that your point is infused with what? The diameter. The point, the diameter has moved to the left hand side. Pause it. The finding is being connected in series with a load. Yeah. So you, you, it is obvious that your series, sorry, your field value is in series with the. In series with a, yeah. And then also in series with the load. Which makes it automatic that amateur current, i.e., will flow. The winding. Right. The winding, the field winding, and then you see the flow to the loop. Okay, in that order. And return. Okay. So that is what is happening. So basically, we are just using how the field winding is connected with the assets to talk about this whole concept. Okay, so that's what we have. So in this case, you realize that the same current, all right, will flow through the fuel winding from the armature and then through the load. So you can have this expression. I is equal to ISC is equal to I. ISC is a series current, which is flowing in the field, okay? Series field current. ISC is the resistance. Okay? The resistance that we are looking at. Yeah, if we... sir. Yeah. Hello, sir. Uh -huh. Please, um, if you compare um, those two figures, are they the same? I mean, the same chance. If you compare what? I mean, is figure 5.5 .5 also a chance? <laughs> what answer do you think you are going to receive? <laughs> Because initially you said that um, the, you see the, the, the shunt resistor is in power, but this the 5.5. I am not seeing that it's not power to the to the to the motor. So figure 5.5 is this is helping us to understand the series generator. <laughs> A series generator. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this series generator and then shunt generator, the 5.4. Yeah. That is it. All right. So no, the 5.4 is the, the power generator. It's what? It's the power generator. Power. Ah, for example, shunt or power. Do you have power? Power generator. Shunt is shunt. It is. Shunt. Or accept All right. So let's continue. So based on the 5.5, you can also establish the terminal voltage, okay? Which is this: Eg minus Ia Ra plus Rs. Now what is like this? Okay. Now you know what it is like that. Then you can also talk about the power developed yeah, working. in the armature, which is the same thing. I mean, yes. Then the power delivered to the load, okay, which is also just the same as what we have in the shunt. So you should basically look at this, the armature current, and then a terminal voltage to be able to tell the difference whether it is um, chance, 
generator or series generator. Okay. All right. So compound generator. What is happening to you? I admitted you, and uh, you are asking for admission again. <laughs> okay, so compound generator. In short, compound generator is combination of parts, sounds, and then series. Okay, so you can see. So please, we can't see the handout. Okay. Uh, sir, please, before the diagram, I want to see what <laughs> what was written on that compound um, generator. Before it's the diagram, yes, thank you, sir. <laughs> but you see that thing, you just need a diagram. Okay, sir, thank you. I'm I'm that's right. 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 Okay. Okay, so um, we have four minutes to finish, and now before somebody is coming, class, why? Uh, sorry. The information didn't go down well, that's why. Right. Okay. I, I called some, but I couldn't get them. All right. I think, uh, do you have a group of our page? Yes. So, After, I'm going to pick, uh, uh, that will help. Once you get the link, or uh, request for the link, then we have the time. So now, maybe we can just be using our normal time. The only thing we can do now is to some other extra time. Yes, sir. that will help. We can meet. Uh, I will see how best we can do that. So <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> yeah, so the compound is just this kind of combination of series and exchange. I want to finish with this. Now, if you look at this figure, mm -hmm. I have I and then I I. So for instance, let's just pay attention to I. For this, I should mean I have a, if you like, this session, the left session of the network or of the circuit. So I take off entirely the Trans connection, all right? That is to say that the field winding, which is across the armature, I disconnected the whole thing and it is not there. What type of. I will be able to So that will be the generator. Okay, so that's the thing. All right. Then let's also do something. This. All these values we now make it or we shorten it to make it a straight or just a conductor. We haven't wound it, we've taken it into just a conductor. Yes, sir. What generator are we going to have again? I want to have a shunt generator. So that will be shunt generator. So basically, yeah. compound generator is just the of putting chunks and then series generator in one unit. Okay. Huh. But there is what we also consider a, a chunks, sorry, compound generator. That is short chunks and then long chunks. Okay. Short shunt and then long shunt. That is very important. So what makes it short shunt? What makes it long shunt? In fact, we are talking about compound generators. So, 
is supplying the load. So the current is flowing out of the armature and it is supplying the load. Okay, so that is the process. It applies to the series and then the compound as well. Okay, so that's enough for you to look at the circuit diagram and then see this one is a motor. In fact, it's a shunt motor, DC shunt motor, or DC series or compound motor. Okay, all right, so we'll pause it here, but I want you to just this is your reading assignment. Losses in DC machines. Read for up to when this one yeah, up to the races. DC machine races. Just read through it. If there's something you don't understand, when we meet again, you can ask, please. Okay, so the next time we meet, we'll just talk about the principle, this motor principle. And then um, I would see we'll, we'll solve a few questions and then we'll move forward. Okay. All right. Okay, Any question? Any right, question? Please, the, uh, the record, the record. It should be given to us. Okay, okay. Okay, God bless you. Say, so I enjoyed your class. Then. <laughs> when are we meeting? Last part. I enjoyed it. It's been very well. When are we meeting next? Inside a Saturday, we may have to schedule another meeting time. Okay. In the case of me, please speak to the authorities first. Our data bandem. Our data bandem. Uh, in consultation with your classroom, okay, so that we can all agree on a convenient time for all of us. Okay, sir. All right, okay. so to that point, we'll call it a day, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. Welcome. I've got to turn it on. That's it. Enjoy the last part. Hello. Okay. Create a common platform for for uh, DC uh, lecture listening. So that... Uh, well, you, you should do that. Yeah, just create some WhatsApp listening so that when uh, yeah. you send the link and the time, everybody... Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.